Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm here to tell y'all about all of the books that I read in August. <laughs> So I actually read 16 books in the month of August, <laughs> but I will say 10 of these 16 were audiobooks. <laughs> Five of the physical books that I read were graphic novels. I only read one physical novel, like novel novel, you know what I mean? So as usual, I'm going to be starting from my least favorite and then towards the end, I will talk about my favorite books. I did have a good reading month, except for one book. And that's a part of this series I'm about to talk about. I read three books in the Big Rock series. This, I actually listened to them. I didn't physically read them. They're all around like five and a half hours. And if you have the Audible Romance Package, they're all on there. The first one is Big Rock by Lauren Blakely. <laughs> I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. This is a friends to lovers romance book. These two main characters, they own a bar together, actually a chain of bars together. They end up realizing that they actually have feelings for each other because they have to fake be engaged. You find out why and that makes them realize that they actually have feelings for each other. So if you're into friends to lovers and fake dating slash fake engagement, check this one out. It is really short though. The reason why I didn't give it that high of a rating, I give it a mediocre rating, is because it just wasn't that memorable to me. The second book in the series is Mr. O by Lauren Blakely. These are all companion books, so you see these characters in previous books. So this is about the sister of our main character man from the first book and the main character man's best friend from the first book. So this man has like a crush on his best friend's younger sister. So it's kind of a forbidden romance there. I thought this was better than the first one. I gave this one a four out of five stars. I personally liked it because he's also like a cartoonist. So I really liked learning about his drawing and all that stuff. And our main character woman is a magician, like a children's magi magician. So I thought that was really funny to read about too. So I ended up liking this one more than the first one. And then the third book that I read from the series was Well Hung by Lauren Blakely. I gave this one a two out of five stars. I just didn't really... I uh, like it all that much. I believe this is like the shortest book so far, but I feel like it needed more, if you know what I mean. So this is a forbidden romance between a boss and his assistant, and they end up going to Vegas together for like a business meeting. They end up getting smashed drunk, and then they wake up the next morning realizing that they married each other while they were drunk. It's them figuring out everything and they both secretly have feelings for each other before they got married. It's them trying to figure out all their feelings and stuff like that. I just, I don't really like that trope of getting married in Las Vegas and then realizing you have a feeling for each other. It's not my cup of tea. So that's why I gave it a two out of five stars. Next we have Wrong to Need You by Alicia Rye. I gave this one a four out of five stars. And this is the second book in the Forbidden Hearts trilogy. I have talked about number one and number three in previous videos. I read them out of order on accident or listened to them out of order. I listened to this one through Libby, my library's audiobook service. I will say this series is really, really diverse and I love it. <laughs> if you're wanting to read a romance series that's more diverse, um, the first book, I believe, our main character woman is half Hawaiian, or her father's from Hawaii and her mother's from Japanese descent. And then the second book, this one, our main character woman is Indian American and our main character man is, his father is Hawaiian and his mother is half Japanese. And then the third book, we have a plus size main character and a character who I think has Hawaiian roots. This series is really, really diverse for a romance series and I freaking love it. I'm looking for more diverse romance. If you have any recommendations, please leave them linked down below because I need more in my life. So our main character woman is actually a widow and she has a son. Her husband died a couple years ago. She ends up figuring out she has feelings for his brother. Her and her husband's brother were friends before she even met her her husband. He has always loved her, but it's real complicated. But if you're up for a widow finding love again, I recommend this book for sure. Book number five is Nailed Down by Shell Bliss and Eden Butler. I read this book yesterday, listened to it yesterday for the 24 hour smutathon. This was the only book that I completed. <laughs> 
in the entire day. This was a, I believe, four and a half or five hour audiobook, but I listened on two times speed. This is a four out of five stars. And this is about our two main characters, Kit and Kane, and they are basically the hosts of like an HGTV show, like fixing up houses and stuff like that. Her best friend, who's her cousin, ends up passing away and she leaves Kit a bucket list to do. And she tasks her best friend, Kane, who's her co-star on this show to help her complete this list and there are a few steamy acts you gotta do on this list. They end up maybe realizing they have feelings for each other in the midst of all of that. This was real steamy and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so uh, I thought this was a great audiobook. I thought this was a great read overall so I totally recommend this one. I also want to say I also thought it was like really great for like how short it was, you know what I mean? I forgot to say, also, this is Friends to Lovers. <laughs> so if you're into Friends to Lovers, here you go. Okay, now we're gonna talk about a series. We're gonna talk about the saga graphic novels. I read a bunch of these during the reading rush. I will link my vlog down below if you wanna go check it out. And all of these were library books, so I don't have them physically anymore. I'm not gonna go into a summary of each book, but basically if you didn't know what these saga graphic novels are, it's a sci-fi fantasy series about these two alien species who are at war with each other. A man from one side and a woman from another side end up falling in love and having a baby and this graphic novel series is all from the point of view of their daughter and it tells her life story all the way starting from when she was born to the end of volume nine. I think she was maybe like seven. So I read volume five. I gave this one a four out of five stars. I gave volume six a 4.5 out of five stars. I gave volume seven a five out of five stars. I gave volume eight also a five out of five stars. And I gave volume nine also a five out of five stars. Also, I forgot to say this series was created by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. <laughs> if you're into graphic novels and you haven't read these yet, what are you doing? They're so flippin' good. So I recommend these for sure. Number 11 on my list is Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. This was my only physical book besides graphic novels that I read in the month of August. <laughs> this was the Lovely Ladies Book Club pick for the month of August. I will leave our live show linked down below. Ashley and Jen and I discussed this in great detail. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but this is, so this is about our main character named Annie and she absolutely is in love with rom-coms. She knows everything about rom-coms. She's even writing her own script for a rom-com and she just loves everything rom-coms. And her uncle ends up getting her a job on um, the movie set that's taking place in her town for around a week and a half maybe and becomes like the director's assistant. There she meets Drew Danforth who is like the big celebrity heartthrob at the time. He's very goofy though and silly. He likes to joke around a lot. Doesn't really take himself too seriously which is the total opposite of the man that Annie wants. Annie has been dreaming her whole life for her Tom Hanks romantic sweet sweeps you off your feet romantic man that she can fall in love with very much based on the rom-coms that she is obsessed with watching even though drew is the complete opposite of what she wants in a man she maybe can't help herself for falling for him anyway i really enjoyed this i gave this a 4.5 out of 5 stars my only issue is talked about in the live show i can't really talk about it in this because it's kind of a spoiler yeah this is the first book also that i actually like tabbed the funny scenes for this book is super duper funny all of the blue tabs are funny scenes one-liners that i loved the pink ones are obviously like the love scene kiss scenes and then the yellow ones are quotes that I really enjoyed. I read a few of my tabs in the live show. This has actually gotten uh, some negative connotations to it because it doesn't take itself too seriously and it's very 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 fluffy but I say don't go into this book expecting something like serious or expecting something life-changing. Like just expect a rom-com in a book. Just something fluffy, nice, simple, easy to read. It doesn't have any steamy scenes like at all. They're all fade to black. So uh, if you are trying to get into romance maybe, I would possibly start out with this book because you might not be comfortable with going into the steamy scene books. I don't know. And the last group of books I have to talk about today is a series. <sighs> it is the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. Yes, I'm finally talking about them. I finally got into this wonderful romance series. If you didn't know about the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, this is an urban fantasy vampire romance 
series. Basically, there are vampires living in the human world and they have their own society and each book is about a vampire and a different couple, but it's also the series is told in third person. So you get the perspectives, basically the stories of everybody all the way from book one to I'm on book six right now and I'm still listening to and because I've listened to all these I'm still listening to and reading about characters that haven't even had their own book yet and they're really prevalent in the other books so I hope that made sense <laughs> so I am really 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 obsessed with this series I had a little bit of trouble getting into this series because I have the physical book number one I have this one right here book number one dark lover i bought this book a couple months ago i think back in april and i started reading it but i got kind of bored or i found something that was more entertaining to me at the time so i put it down but then i got the audible romance package and i saw that dark lover was on there so i was like you know what i'm gonna give it a shot and i think the audiobook route was a great choice by me if you're into audiobooks i totally recommend these books they are pretty long though they're around 15 hours or more um which i actually love because i commute to school it takes me around 45 minutes to get to school every day so i love listening to this before school and after school i really am in love with this series uh, so much <laughs> yes this is the first book a dark lover and yeah if you're into paranormal romance books please check these out they're like so worth it because also these books were I think made in like 2000s in the early 2000s and they like are still good you know what I mean do you understand what I mean they're like so good they're so good <laughs> so going in order I gave Dark Lover a 4.5 out of 5 stars the next book book number two is Lover Eternal I gave this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars so far this is my least favorite in the series but it was still good nonetheless the next book book number three in the series is lover awakened i gave this one a five out of five stars it is for sure my favorite in the series because i love myself a tortured love interest <laughs> book number four in the series is lover revealed i gave this one a four out of five stars and the last book that i read from the black dagger brotherhood in the month of august was lover unbound and i gave that one a five out of five stars i don't have the book physically on me right now because i don't know where it is but i actually also read half of fix her up by tessa bailey i am buddy reading this with steph from neffa entertainment at the moment i am really enjoying it so far i can't wait to continue but other than that those were all 16 books that i read in the month of august please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to i would love to know and talk to you about them down in the comment section down below anyways thank you all so so much for watching and i will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye!